The American dream promises that anyone can make it if they work hard enough and play by the rules. Anyone can make it by pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. Baloney. The truth is, in America today, your life chances depend largely on how you started, where you grew up, and how much your parents earned. Everything else, whether you attend college, your chances of landing a well-paying job, even your health, hinges on this start. So as inequality of income and wealth is widened, especially along the lines of race and gender, American children born into poverty have less chance of making it. While 90% of children born in 1940 grew up to earn more than their parents, today only half of all American adults earn more than their parents did. And children born to the top 10% of earners are typically on track to make three times more income as adults than the children of the bottom 10%. The phrase pulling yourself up by the bootstraps itself is rubbish. Its origins date back to an 18th century fairy tale and the phrase was originally intended as a metaphor for an impossible feat of strength. Other countries understand that the family you're born into, as well as the social safety nets and social springboards you have access to, play large roles. Children born in Canada, Denmark, or the United Kingdom, nations without America's degree of inequality, nations which provide strong social safety nets and public investments, have a greater chance of economic success than children born poor in America. Individuals in those countries are blamed less for their personal failures and credited less for personal successes. So why is America still perpetuating the fallacy of the self-made individual? Because those in power want you to believe it. If everyone thinks they're on their own, it's easier for the powerful to dismantle unions, unravel safety nets, and slash taxes for the wealthy. It's in their interest to keep the American dream deeply rooted in our psyche, the assumption that you determine your destiny alone. So we don't demand reforms that are necessary. Paid family and medical leave, for example, or early childhood education, accessible childcare, and policies that lift every family out of poverty. So let's stop perpetuating this myth of the self-made individual, and let's start rebuilding the American dream by creating opportunities for all, not just those who are already wealthy, privileged, and well-connected. What do you think? Is the American dream fading away? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video informative, please also watch our video on the real American story. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.